designer in Orem is hoping someone can help solve a theft case. Burglars stole three high-end guitars and a ukulele. But it isn't just the monetary value that hits hard, as new specialist Andrew Adams found out. Andrew? Well, that's saying a lot, Dini, considering these guitars go for anywhere from $3,500 up to the high five figures. There is hope tonight that somebody out there will be able to recognize these distinct musical instruments. It was a crime that immediately struck a chord. And these are custom-made boutique guitars. They're not something you can go and pawn. High-end guitars swept up in a break-in. The second guitar that Robert ever built, Elise is her name, was hanging here. They grabbed Elise. They came into the shop where all the magic is made. They went all the way to the back. Melissa Rask. They passed up tools. Says the burglars seem to know just where to go inside her husband's workshop. We had four guitars back here. They grabbed those two. They grabbed a uke that I think was hanging somewhere up here. I guess, you know, they just took off and left. Two of the guitars had even higher sentimental value, including one that belonged to the guitar designer's nephew. These are works of art. They're heirlooms. And to have someone come and snag it, really, really, that got him bad. Why anyone would do that is baffling to the couple. This was devastating enough. And the anger is only starting to set in. I'm the one that's a little more <sighs> feisty, you know, like, Arr! Over the burglars who ripped what just as easily could have been rift. He sees the positive in it and is compassionate towards whomever really wanted a Rask guitar. The guitar designer himself, Robert Rask, was out of town for all of this. The couple hopes that anybody with information can help find these guitars and report it to Warren Police Department. Back to you. Can't blame her for being feisty, Andrew. Thanks. <laughs>